AEW Fight Forever is nearly upon us. And as you've probably seen by now, the pre-order bonus, uh, the pre-order bonus has been revealed and I'm on the fence. I like Matt Hardy. I love the broken gimmick, but I feel like he's been in AEW long enough to just be on the disc as a starter. Now, as of now, we still don't know the full, the full starting lineup, but it's, it's growing. And I think gradually, day by day, we are finding out more anyway. But Jeff Hardy's on the disc. And personally, I think it would make more sense for Jeff to have been the pre-order bonus because he's not been in the company as long. And I feel like Jeff's, he's always been the more popular Hardy. I mean, he's been in the company for a while, but you know, sort of give or take <clears throat> suspensions. Now I've seen very mixed responses to the whole news that Matt Hardy is the pre-order bonus. It seems to balance more towards the, well, why? And I completely understand. It's an interesting choice. But the best thing that they've done is just the video promo promoting it. Video promo promoting it. Yeah. I think it's really funny. But it's still, it still, it just doesn't make sense. Like if they would have just given us, say, uh, Broken Matt as a pre-order bonus, then maybe. Or even they could have just done both Hardy Boys. But having both Hardys in, it it's interesting. Because hopefully... They'll give us something to do, like we can we can interact on like the Hardy compound. Final deletion, for example, that was insane. So what are your thoughts really? Should it have been Jeff that was the pre-order bonus and we got these Matt Hardys from the get-go? Should Brock and Matt just have been like an unlockable through the game? Let me know in the comments because I'm eager to get people who are really kind of excited for this game's opinions. Have you already pre-ordered it? I haven't yet. I was hoping there was something a little more exciting than Matt Hardy, but like I said, I've got nothing against Matt Hardy, but I, I think there could have been better people as a pre-order bonus. Hey, they could have even put Tony Khan as a playable character. That'd be fun, I think. Yeah, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's all I gotta say really about that. Um, like I said, let me know in the comments what you're, you're thinking about this whole pre-order situation. And if you want to see a few more videos, if I just move over here, there's a couple more videos there for you to check out. And in the immortal words of Mick Foley, have a nice day.